heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray amen adonai we worship you son of god you are so good almighty god i love you your dominion is forevermore adonai adonai we worship you we worship you son of god you are so good you are so good The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, man of war, is mercy and joy forever. And Give up, I'll be 
have food. You are my health in all. Oh, Jesus, Lamb of God, what is your name? Lamb of God, what is your name? Jesus, 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 Lamb of God, what is your name? Lamb of God, what is your name? You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my heart. In all, taking you as my precious dream, Lord, to give all, I'll be a fool. You are my heart, in all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Messiah is the King of Kings. Messiah is the Lord of Lords. Messiah is the King of Kings. Messiah is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Messiah, Messiah is the King of Kings, Messiah is the Lord of Lords, Messiah is the King of Kings, Messiah is the Lord of Lords, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Ba 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 luke. Ba 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 luke. Ba 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 luke ba 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 luke ba 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 luke bo bon ti moni ni o fi ologo bo bon ti moni ni o fi ologo ba 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 o ba ba o ba ba luke ba 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 You make me wonder, oh ba ba, I wonder. You make me wonder, oh ba ba ba, wonder. Oh my yani, oh oh to be ni toke. Oh my yani, oh oh to be ni toke. Why won't I praise you? Iki aye ma geoga. Why won't I praise you? Iki aye ma geoga. Olore mi. Olore mi o. Olore mi. Olore mi o. 
Ini mafi sofu o o lo e mi baba e ini mafi sofu o e o lo e mi alanu ini alanu mi o. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. I walk, I walk, no one, no one. I search Him, search Him, no one, no one. I turn around, no one, no one. There's no one, there's no one like you. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like you. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like you. I walk, I walk, no one, no one. I search in, search in, no one, no one. I look around me, no one, no one. There's no one, there's no one like me. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Lift in my hallelujah. The Lord, Alleluia, lift in my Alleluia, Alleluia, Logo, Alleluia, 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 Logo Honey, any Oh, I can begin to thank God this morning and bless him because indeed he's God and he's not a man. Let's thank him for being God in our life and that he's never a man 
glory to his name forever in the mighty name of jesus please worship him and magnify him this morning because he's indeed our father is indeed our god that there is none to be compared to him blessed be your name father in the mighty name of jesus glory to your name forever in jesus mighty name thank you because you are good and there is none to be compared to you you are the almighty father and the king of glory you are the almighty god there is none like unto thee you are good and you are kind blessed be your name father in the mighty name of jesus thank you for your faithfulness and love thank you for your goodness and kindness please bless him and honor him this morning thank him for your life thank him for your family thank him for your household thank him for every good thing god has been doing for us and all Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because in one form or the other, he'll be granting us new song in this season of new song. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for good things he'll be doing for you and your household. Thank you for putting new song in your mouth. Thank you for his faithfulness and for his love. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please bless man, honor him. Bless him and honor him, give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. Bless him in his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for this praise. Daddy, we are very grateful. We are very grateful. Please bless him and honor him. Honor him and give him praise. Honor him and give him praise. Honor him and give him praise. Magnify his name. Exalt his holy name. Bless his faithfulness and love. Exalt him and give him praise this morning. Hallelujah to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for great thing he's doing. For great thing he's doing. For we are sure and we know each time we gather like this, he's always answering our prayers. Oh, that we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless him, bless him and honor him. Magnify him and honor him. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his love. Thank you for his kindness. Thank you for preserving and keeping us all. Bless him and honor his holy name. Thank you for your life and for your household. Thank you for everyone in your household. Our God has been faithful and good to you. Please bless him and honor him. Indeed, it's God. Indeed, it's mighty. Indeed, there is none like unto him. Thank you because he has been God in our life. And there is nothing compared to him. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because it has been you and it has been you, it has been you. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for seeing us through to this very day. From January 1st to this very day, it can only be Him. January 1st to this very day, brethren, it can only be Him. That is, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. It can only be you, Father. It can only be you, my Father, my God. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I can see your hand in my life. I see your hand in my family. I can see your hand in my household. I can see your hand in all I do. Please bless him and thank him. Tell him you can see his hand in your life. Then you can see his hand in all you do. Then you can see your hand in your family. You can see his hand in all your household. Blessed be God forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Please bless him and honor him. Please bless him and honor him. Magnify him and exalt him. Give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him honor. There is no one like unto this God. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we honor you. We give you praise and we honor you. We give you honor and we honor you. We bless you and we bless you. We honor you, Father. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. We bless your name, O God. As we confess you, that you are the Lord, we bless. Bless your name, O God, as we confess that 
you are the Lord, you are the Lord, we bless your name, O God, as we confess that you are the Lord, you are the Lord, we bless your name, O God. I say confess that you are the Lord, you are the Lord, we bless your name, O God. I say confess that you are the Lord, one more time we bless your name, oh, oh God, as we confess that you are the Lord. Please confess him as God this morning. Say that they are bless your name as I confess that you are the Lord. Bless every your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because I can confess it. I can say it boldly because I know it that you are the Lord. Blessed be your name. I have no other God. I have no other support. I have no other strength. I have no other power. I have no other person. I have no other God. I confess you this morning that you are my God. With the heart, man believe. But with the mouth, confession must be made. With my heart, I believe you. With my heart, I trust you. I believe you. Well, with my mouth, I confess you are God. I confess you are Lord. I confess you are King. I confess you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name, O God. As we confess you this morning that you are God. Blessed be your name. We pray forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for all you have done for all this year. Oh, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to begin this morning by saying, Lord, give me a new song. On the personal level, give me a new song. We've been praying this prayer for some time now, and I want us to say, pray it. And say the same word and the same play this morning all over the world. I trust the Lord will attend to us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, Father, give me a new song in Jesus' mighty name. A song that others will see in my life. And they will confess you that you are the Lord. Give me a new song, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. A song that all that we hear, testimony that they will hear, testimony that they will see, testimony that is self-announcing, that all that we hear and see. And they will know that indeed I have been forgiven, I have been delivered, I have been saved, and that you have been, I have been privileged to be blessed of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. A song that all that we see and that we hear, and they will know that indeed that God has been favorable towards me. Lord, give me a new song in Jesus' mighty name. Give me a new song, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. A song that all that we hear, all that we see, all that we hear. And they will confess that indeed God has been good to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me a new song in Jesus' mighty name. It's that we disgrace my enemy. That we disgrace that are expecting me to come back crying to them. I'm begging them. I'm, I'm, I'm begging from them. Lord, in the mighty name, so give me a new song in Jesus' mighty name. On every matter, I'm trusting you all. On the matter of my family, on the matter of my household, on the matter of my children, on the matter of my own very self. Lord, do something now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that we announce you in my life. Self-announcing testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Step and ask this morning that we tell others that I indeed I'm your son, I'm your daughter. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, something that others will hear and they will say, Indeed, this man and this man have been favored by God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, give something new, something new, something new, something new, something new, something I can sing about, can testify about. I can tell others to sing with me and to dance with me. I can tell others to laugh with me in the mighty name of Jesus. This year is a year of new song. That is the title you gave to us, Lord. 
Let it be true in every of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Let it be true in every of our lives. Let it be true in my life, in my life in particular. And in every life, Lord, praying with me right now. Let it be true in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me have testimony. Something I can, I can hold on to, something I can handle. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. John says something that we have seen, that we have handled, and we have tasted. See him, we have handled him, we have tasted of him, and of the word of life. That's something that cannot be hidden. Something that others will see. That it is personal. That you can see it. You can handle it. You can taste it. You can testify of it. Others to hear, it, hear of it and they will say, wow, that can only be God. Father, do it in my life in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and say, Father, do it in my life in Jesus' mighty name. Something I can hold on to. Something tangible. Something I can see. Something others can see. Something I've been asking of you for, for months, for years. Something I've been asking of you for. Something I've been believing you for. Something I've been trusting you for. Something I've been having faith for. In the mighty name of Jesus, on this hour that we are all praying and asking you on the same basis, Lord, do something that I know can only come from you. Something I cannot do by myself in the mighty name of Jesus. Something that myself know that no matter what matter I try, I can't do it by my own self. Lord, do for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Something new to thank you for in the mighty name of Jesus. Something new to thank you for. Something new to remember and to say indeed, God did this for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Attend to every of my prayers, attend to every of my needs, attend to every ask God to attend to your prayer this morning, brethren. Ask God that every prayer you have been praying, every of your heart desire, everything you are trusting in God for, that God please attend to them in Jesus' mighty name. Every thing I'm attending, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm believing you for. Lord, attend to them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Convert them all to a new song for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Convert them all to a new song for me in Jesus' mighty name. Everything I'm trusting you and believing you for, Lord, convert them to a new song for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Convert all of them one by one to a new song for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Convert them to a new song for me. Everything I'm believing you for, everything I'm trusting you for, Everything that keep coming up in my prayer, every now and then when I pray, this matters keep coming up or keep matters keep keep coming up. Lord, attend to them in Jesus' mighty name. Ask God to attend to them one by one in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray for as many of our members that are trusting God for the foot of the moon. Just praying the same thing, the same time all over the world on our behalf now. That God will attend to them. Amen. That that will be a new song that God will give to them. Amen. They may have other things they are asking God for, but God will prioritize us for them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and ask, ask that in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. As many of our members are trusting for the foot of the moon, either for themselves or for some other persons, that God in His mercy will attend to them and grant this new song in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will grant this new song in Jesus' mighty name. That we hear new cry of babies in homes where there have been known in the mighty name of Jesus. New cries of babies, new cry of babies in homes where there have been known. And in homes where they are trusting God for additional one that God will grant them in the mighty name of Jesus. As men are waking up on early hour like this and are coming to prayer on early hour like this. And I say, God, when will it be my turn? To carry my baby, to carry my baby, Lord, attend to them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. You see their heart desire, you see their heart cry, Lord, attend to them in the mighty name of Jesus, in a way that only you can, in a way that only you will, attend to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be testimony in homes and in our families, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do what only you can do. Let us all laugh with them, as men and women laugh with Mother Sarah. Let us all laugh with them. Let us sing with them. Let us rejoice with them. Let there be a new song in their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where there are sin, there are no hope. Where there is sin, hope is getting lost. Lord, let there be a new of hope, a new of testimony, a renewal of visitation. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
and God did unto Sarah as he has spoken, and he did unto and he visited her as he has said, Lord, do unto this one as he has spoken, and as he has said in the mighty name of Jesus, let there be plantation of new fruits, and let the fruit begin to germinate, and let the fruit be sustained to maturity in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One of our sisters having a birthday today, Sister Rachel, her mom with me, and the sister in one of our priests. Today's our birthday to pray for her, that God will remember her. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. as her day shall be her joy. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and pray for her this morning, in the mighty Father, name of Jesus, that heaven will remember her in Jesus' mighty name. New song in her life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day of our life, where there have been confessions, where there have not been new songs, where it shall see the old song being repeated over and over again. Lord, let there be new song this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be new song, new joy with this new age, in the mighty name of Jesus. As our age this morning, so shall be our joy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Add joy to her, add strength to her, add victory to her, add laughter to her. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause others to love it in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be new joy, new visitations, new trends, and new grace in this morning, in Jesus' mighty name. And as men like I that I have done or are planning for that their birthday now this week or this month, God remember them in Jesus' mighty name. In unity of faith, we pray for them that you will bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear sister, I pray for you. God bless you. God add joy to your life. And God add value and grace to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Sister Mom, I pray for you as your voice has blessed home and family. Each time you lead us in prayer, the same way God Himself, we remember you this morning and add to your life in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. As you have heard your sweet voice, so God will add sweetness and mercy Amen. and peace and Amen. love and joy. Your life and strength in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For all of us in praying, praying, prayer, go with happy birthday and God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to also pray for one of our sister and was talking to me of late. One of our brother found has himself in a, in a serious trouble. It's a complicated matter. And for some time now, he has been put in prison. No trial, nothing, just forgotten there. And that God will just send mercy to us, that young man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Imagine somebody having a younger brother in uh, in prison, no case, no, just, just complicated, nothing is being heard of them. That God just have mercy upon this God man. Mercy, and then uh, we unlock every door that we lock that we lock against him in Jesus' mighty name. Can I just pray that prayer unity of faith this morning? That every door that we lock against that man, every hand of government, every hand of uh, individual that is keeping her behind the bar, keeping him behind the bar. And there's nothing being done, no case, no court, everything just complicated and uh, we, are, we are not even knowing what to do. That God will intervene right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The same God that delivered Paul and Silas will deliver this one in the mighty name of Jesus. The same God that delivered Peter and as if he was dreaming, was having a vision why was being released that same god will send his angel and remember this man in the mighty name of jesus we are his fire has been lost and forgotten that god will remember him again in the mighty name of jesus for the sake of this sister that god will remember her and remember him in jesus mighty name and set him free and deliver him as a people and as a family we pray for you young man that we deliver be set free and come home again in jesus mighty name thank you heavenly father Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to pray for our children this morning. As we pray for ourselves, today we are going to be praying together, raising our voice all over the world. Same time, same place, same way, same scripture. And praying for each other. And particularly praying for yourself. As we raise the prayer from this place. We ask God, give me the right word to speak at this time. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you all utter, utter our words in the same way, in the same manner, using the same scripture, that God grant me utterance in Jesus' mighty name. As a group, as a family right now, grant us utterance in the mighty name of Jesus. May we say words that are beneficial to all of us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We will say well, it will be beneficial to all of us. Ask God in particular, Lord, lead us to say words that will be beneficial to me as a person in the mighty name of Jesus. Lead me to lead us as a group, as a family, and as individual to utter words that are beneficial to me in person and to my household and to my family and to my matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remember me at this time in Jesus' mighty name. Grant me all trance in Jesus' mighty name. Speak a word to my life. Speak a word to my heart. Speak a word to my station. Speak a word to me, Lord, that we benefit me in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Open our Bible to Psalms 18. I read from verse 28. Psalm 18, verse 28. Praying one for another. Raising our words, raising our voices for all members of Spring Prayer Prayer Group Christian Ministry all over the world, either online now or those are not online. But in particularly as we raise those prayer for my very self, for your very self, because you are online this morning. And I trust the Lord we answer our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we say we bless this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We ask for all strength, speak word to every heart, Amen. speak word to every life. As we utter the same word in the same place and using the same scripture this morning, God, every of our thoughts Amen. that the word will be beneficial to every of our life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says you send your words and your word hid them. This way, this morning, in the same manner, in the same place, as we hear the same word, as we utter the same word, as we pray the same word based on the same scripture this morning. Let there be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Emotional healing, Amen. health healing Amen. in every aspect of our life. Healing sick womb, healing sick life, healing sick work, healing sick income, healing sick family. In every form, in every way, in every manner that we desire that prayer this morning, individual force. Lord, heal this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says Jesus Christ has compassion on them and he healed them all. In the same manner that is, you spoke your word, Son of God, and your word was ministering life to everyone in that meeting. In the same way, this morning, as you speak your word, let this word heal and send life and send situation to every situation attending this morning, that everyone will go back home rejoicing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, Psalm 18, I begin read from verse 28 psalm 18 verse 28 for thou will light my candle the law my god will enlighten my darkness every area of our lives every area of your life every area of my life we are darkness is hiding this morning and is somehow hindering the fulfillment of promises hindering fulfillment of answer to prayer giving hindering answer to prayers and we now allow God to attend to our case as he ought to. This morning, the Bible says, Thou we light my candle, and we lighten my darkness. You say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come this morning, light my candle in the mighty name of Jesus. Put light on my candle in the mighty name of Jesus, and enlighten my darkness in Jesus' mighty name. Put light in my dark in my candle. And let my darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every area of my life where there is any form of darkness this morning, let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and I ask God, let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's written light that the Lord will light my candle, and the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Lord, light my candle and enlighten my darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Light my candle, Father and enlighten my darkness in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. That the case we pray for this morning, that young man that was in, that is in prison, and to see if there is no way out. And to pray for everyone in this meeting. Now, please pray as we say we should pray. Pray for everyone in this meeting, that in any form of darkness, in any form of ways, that as if they are being caged, they are being cornered to one side by the, by the power of darkness. Amen. That in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we declare that we light this morning. Amen. Let God enlighten every of those corners Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Please pray for your neighbor. We are praying for your neighbor now, not for yourself now. 
Somebody is praying for you. So pray for your neighbor now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, this meeting, everyone praying at this hour in the mighty name of Jesus and lighting their darkness in Jesus' mighty name. In any form, they are in any matter that is complicated. In any form, they are in any matter that is as if there are no answers. In any form, in any matter, in any way, they are in any matter, in any situations that are as if they don't know what to do and there's no way, there's no forward movement. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are the light. Let there be light now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be light now in the mighty name of Jesus. In your own way, in your own manner, enlighten their darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 29 say, For by thee I have known through a truth, and by my God have I lived over a world. Is there any world in your way, brethren? Physical or spiritual, emotional or material, seen and unseen, visible and invisible, erected by yourself, unknowingly, unknowingly, and incendiary you now, or erected by your, those before you, and it's just standing there, not allowing to go forward, or erected by some principality or power. It doesn't matter now. The Bible said the Lord will empower me, and will cause me to leap over those walls. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, the mighty name of Jesus, I, I, I'm, I'm going over now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every wall hindering me from making progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou shalt make me to run over a troop. And by my God, I will leap, I will leap over a wall in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, I reign in high places with Christ Jesus Christ. Jesus, therefore I go over every wall before me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancient wall, every wall that, that, that I find myself behind them. I leap over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wall erected by sin, every wall erected by the power of darkness, every wall erected by myself, knowingly or unknowingly, that has hindered my progress. All those who have been erected ever before I was born by my four years, all those who have been erected in my offices, or in my village, or in my community, either known and unknown to me, and they are hindering me from making forward movement. By my God, I will live over a world. Therefore, I live over them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I live over and I cross over to the other side in Jesus' mighty name. The same God that made the way in sea and caused Israel to pass through Jordan. By that same God, I live over this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I live over this morning in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. You say pray for your next person, the next person by your by you now in this prayer meeting. There is a word that man, that man will be praying, and his prayer alone has not been sufficient. Now to join our hands together in faith. And I say, everyone, that I say, war hidden or unknown ahead of them, and it's not allowed them to cross over to a new place of new sun. This morning, unity of faith will lift you up and you push to that side in the mighty name of Jesus. God and pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. That everyone facing one ancient world or one hind one visible or invisible world that's not aligned for progress, for women, will not allow them to marry, will not allow them to have children, will not allow them to have good job or have financial success. Whatever way they are trusting you, either wall of sicknesses or diseases, in the mighty name of Jesus, on the wings of all of our prayer, I carry my neighbor, oh yeah, now over to the other side in the mighty name of Jesus. On the wings of this prayer this morning, I carry you, sir. I carry you, ma. Over to the other side in the mighty name of Jesus. By God, I say in Jesus' mighty name, be lifted up, be lifted high above this wall and go to that side in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be so in Jesus' mighty name. And so it is in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. But as I say, as for God, is where it's perfect. The word of the Lord is try. It's a buckler to all those that put their trust in Him. Say, so according to this word this morning, the word of God is a block buckler, it's a strength to as men that put their trust in Him. We put our trust in His word and we are lifted high in the mighty name of Jesus. I put my trust in your word. I am lifted high in the mighty name of Jesus. I put my trust in your word. 
I am lifted high above all that are mundane and terrestrial in the mighty name of Jesus, above my enemy, above my traditions, above what I'm going through, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. See verse 32. Verse 32, it say, It is God that guided me with strength and make my way perfect. God will guide me with strength and perfect all that concern me. It is God that make guide me with strength and make my way perfect. In other words, things will become easy for me henceforth and to see if I have strength. No, it's God that make my way perfect and guide me with strength. Say, Father, the mighty name of Jesus. You will make my way perfect and guide me with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Things either though I couldn't do, things either though it seemed impossible to me and to my household, and that the desire that I have overcome them. Lord, I receive strength this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength from above in Jesus' mighty name. You will guide me with strength and make my way perfect. Make things easy for me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Make it easy for me to attain new heights, new goal, new achievement in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning. Declared, I receive strength this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning in the mighty name of Jesus to do those things that I couldn't do before and those things do before me couldn't do for good. I receive strength this morning to accompany them in the mighty name of Jesus. Do before me, my parents, my phobia, things they couldn't do because they lack the strength. This morning, I receive strength to do them in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength, I receive strength to do great things in Jesus' mighty name. I receive strength to go higher, to go forward, to go upward, to go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. He maketh my feet like his feet and set me upon high places. He make me strong and set me, establish me in high places. Not in lower place I find myself before, not in small place I find myself before, not in those places I don't, they don't even know I'm existing. But now I'm lifted to high places in the mighty name of Jesus. They will say, He established my feet. I'm lifted to high places. This morning my feet is established according to the word of the Lord. And I'm lifted to high places in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer right now. And my feet is established in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm lifted to high places. In the mighty name of Jesus, places that are too high for me before now, places that, that I cannot, can either to or cannot attend to this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I begin to go to all those high places. I'm lifted to those high places. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm lifted to those high places. In the mighty name of Jesus, he, he make my feet be strong and establish me in high places. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we are praying. Amen. There are places for somebody, somebody here that hitherto you have been praying. And as I the more you pray, the higher those ground refuse you. And you couldn't just attend to them. This morning, you need to be able to lift it all together. So we want to pray for your neighbor, as I believe your neighbor is praying for you. You say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this my brother, this my sister are praying with me every area of their life. We are hitherto they couldn't attend. Because it's too high for them. I join my faith with yours. And I say now you are later to that place. In the mighty name of Jesus. I join my faith with yours. And now you are later out to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it fruit of the womb? Is it your head? Is it a particular child matter? Is it your marriage? Is it your whatever situation of your life? That's the same. It is impossible for you to attain to that height. This morning I join my faith with yours. And the faith of this my brothers and sisters I join with yours. And we go high now together into those high places in the mighty name of Jesus. You are lifted up now. Those things that seem impossible, those things that seem it cannot be possible, you begin to achieve that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to achieve that right now in Jesus' mighty name. Because the Lord will establish your feet in those high places in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You will declare, I'm going down no more. As the Lord has established my feet, I'm going down no more. From the high place he has put me in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, I reign and I reign, I reign with Christ Jesus in high places. I remain there in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I'm establishing those high places now. I'm going back no more in the mighty name of Jesus. I will never go back no more, never go back no more to where I was before. I'm now in high places, reigning with Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. He teaches my hands to walk so that a bow or stay is broken by my hand. Lift your right hand up and say, Father, teach this hand to make war. Father, In the mighty name war. of Jesus, I lift my right hand to you. I teach this hand to make war. In the mighty name of Lord. Jesus, In teach this hand to make war. In Jesus' mighty name. And by my hands, both of steel shall be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, either visible or invisible. Both of steel in my workplaces, both of steel in my office where I sell or buy, both of steel in my marketplace, bow or steel in my finance, bow or steel in my head, bow or steel in my family line, bow or steel in my family by marriage or my family by blood, bow or steel in my community. That is that nobody has been able to break in the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord teach my hand to make war. I break them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord teach my hand to make war. I break every bow of sea, visible and invisible, in the mighty name of Jesus. By my hands, I bow of steel broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has teach my hand to make war, and my hand is breaking the bow of steel right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. That has also given me the shield of the salvation, and the right hand has holding me up. And that gentleness had made me great. I am great in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord has made me great, I shall be great in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be small in the mighty name of Jesus. Because gentleness has made me great, I refuse to be small in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to be small in the mighty name of Jesus. His hand has held me up in high places, and His gentleness has made me great in the mighty name of Jesus. I am great in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ was gentle so that I can be great. Therefore, I am great in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be small. Your right hand has held me up. I will not be small in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Verse 36. Thou hast enlarged my step under me, and my feet did not sleep. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me. In other words, you begin to go to a new step. You are taking new strides. You are getting enlarged. Financial enlargement, physical enlargement, spiritual enlargement. Now you can read the Bible and understand it. And be enlarged. Thou hast enlarged my feet under me. And where you put me, I will not sleep. That be your prayer this morning. Amen. That my feet is enlarged under me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every of my step is enlarged in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou hast enlarged my step under me, and my feet shall not sleep from where you have put me this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. For the high place you have put me, my feet will not sleep because you have enlarged me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou hast enlarged my feet under me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every step I take from this morning henceforth is enlarged for good, is enlarged for miracle, is enlarged for new son. In the mighty name of Jesus, every of my feet under me is enlarged in Jesus' mighty name. My steps are enlarged under me, and my feet will not sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. pray for neighbor once again. In every realm, we are this woman. We know that my feet, are, my step has been enlarged. Take for example. A woman married for years now, and there are no people in the womb. And God suddenly answered her prayer. Her steps have been enlarged. A business that refused to grow has suddenly got breathed on it, and the business is growing. God has enlarged that man, that woman step this morning. Or oh, a sickness that seems as if it's not part and parcel of one's life, and it's not just refused and just refusing to go. And suddenly you couldn't even feel it or see it again. That step. Are being enlarged under that man and that woman, and God has holding up his feet that will not slip back to that sickness never again. Or a medical report that will be given, you are wondering how will this be cancelled as suddenly you went for another test 
and the daughter was wondering, why do we give you this one in the first place? The thing is no longer there. That man, that woman's steps have been enlarged under him or her. Wherever our heart differs, and so our request this morning. Lord, in every row of this my mother, this my sister, this my brother, praying this morning, this boy, this girl, praying with me this morning, and they are trusting you for one thing or the other. In every sense of it, Lord, enlarge their stead this morning. Amen. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, enlarge their stead this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it in their head? Is it in their, um, on a child matter? Is it on their Marita, is it their promotion that we believe in you for? Is it their finance? Is it their spiritual life? They cannot just get free from a particular sin, a particular lifestyle. This morning, whatever the case may be, that this man, this woman praying with me this morning is trusting you for Lord enlarge his or her step under her in the mighty name of Jesus and let her feet not slip back again to those old positions in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be, and so it is, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pursue my enemies and overtaking them. That's part of the seven book, part of the seven or Psalm 18. It says, I have pursued my enemies and have overtaken them. Then that they are turned again till they were consumed. This morning we are going to pursue together. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You join my heart and your hand with mine by faith. And you will declare together every enemy, every enemy. everything you have been pursuing. Everything. And hitherto it has seemed impossible. Seem I join my feet in the feet of my sister, join my feet in the feet of my brother, my daddy, my mommy here, and I pursue together with them. And I'm overtaking them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pursue my enemy and overtaking them. So see the Bible. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pursue this morning and overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I have been pursuing before, and I couldn't overtake with them and mine this morning. Joining our force together, I pursue and overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. I pursue and overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. I pursue this morning with others pursue with me and overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You can see that for sure one person pursuing, but now 100 are pursuing with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have to say, if we want to prevail against him, two shall be standing. And this morning we are more than two, we are more than three. We are withstanding those power together in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I pursue this morning. Myself and others praying with me and overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not pursuing alone. I'm pursuing the prayer of others that pray this morning. I'm pursuing the believing with the faith of others that pray with me this morning. I'm pursuing with the trust of others trusting God with me this morning. I'm pursuing with the strength of others too. Trusting God for me this morning. Pray with me this morning. I pursue and I overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. And I consume them. I will not go back. I'm not going back until they are consumed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pursue. I pursue this morning with others that pray with me. I pursue, join my hand with others. I pursue my enemy. I pursue those things that either to have seemed impossible for me. And I pull them down. I overtake in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. He said, I wounded them that age, that they will not rise, will not be able to rise never again. And they are falling under my feet. Because we are pursued together this morning. That be our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say in the mighty name of Jesus, as many are pursued and are wounded this morning, they will not be able to rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be able to rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. They are falling under my feet permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. Every delay that I pursue this morning and I've overtaken this morning, they are falling down, they are wounded, and they shall not be able to rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. The lady in answer to prayer, the lady in good act, the lady in sound marriage, the lady in sound health, the lady in, in physical prosperity, the lady in finance, the lady in enjoying my Christian life, every form of hindrances. Hit that too that I pursue this morning by the by my by faith and the faith of others. I join myself, my own faith with in the mighty name of Jesus. I've wounded them in the mighty name of Jesus. And they shall not be able to rise again, Jesus' mighty name. They are permanently falling under my feet 
in the mighty name of Jesus. According to the word of the Lord, I wounded them, and they shall not rise again, and they are permanently falling under my feet in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Is there anyone that want to rise again? Or that want to become a new one? Say, are you defeated that one? Want to, want to, and want to start their own fresh, their own and new. Verse 39 is addressing them. For thou hast guided me with strength unto battle, and thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Every old enemy. Every old enemy. And new enemy. And new enemy. In the mighty name the of Jesus. Name they are subdued the under me. As many of them that rise against me in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning to trample them under. I receive strength this morning to trample them under. Every old enemy. Every old cases. Or new one that don't rise against me. Every old enemy in my head. New cases. Old cases in my head. Or new cases in my head. On the head of my spouse, on the head of my family, on the head of any of my children, on the head of my ministry, on the head of my finance, on the head of my Christian life, every old enemy and new enemy that want to rise against me in the mighty name of Jesus. I trample them under, I subdue them under me, and they shall not rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning. The Bible said, Thou art guided me with strength unto battle. Therefore, I receive strength this morning to trample them under in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength this morning to trample them under in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength to trample them under and they shall not rise again. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God gave David that strength. He never knew he was there, but he believed he was there. And the Bible said he ran towards the Philistine. He didn't run away from him. He ran towards him and he threw that in his hand. And unknown to him that his strength in his hand, the strength hand is still looking flat. The hand is still the same, it does not change, it's not heavy, it's not bigger, it's not fatter. Just the same hand he came to that battle with. He ran towards the enemy. And the Bible says they got there with strength. And when he lifted those that hand towards heaven and he threw that stone. The weight was so much upon the giant, it came crumbling down because it was no longer the hand of David. He had been guided with strength. The prayer you threw this morning, and as it's throwing right now, they are not just ordinary prayer that the one you prayed yesterday. They have been guided with strength. Say this morning, the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. My prayers are guided with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. They may look ordinary. They may look like the one I've been praying before. But this morning, the mighty name of Jesus, they are guided with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will not miss their target in the mighty name of Jesus. They are guided with strength. They cannot meet their target in the mighty name of Jesus. As the hand of David was guided with strength, so is my hand and my prayer this morning. They are guided with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. And until every of my foul have subdued under me, I will not rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Every everyone and everything that rise against me, or that will rise against me, until they are subdued under me, I will not rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I'm guided with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. The Most High, my God, is guiding me with strength in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. But what to say, Thou hast given me the names of my enemies, and I will destroy them that hate me. Wow. Thou hast given me the names of my enemy. I will not pity. I will destroy them that rise against me. This morning, the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord has given me strength, and has given me the names of my enemy, and I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has given me the strength of my enemy, the neck of my enemy. And I destroyed them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not pity because they have not pity too. They have not pity because they have not shown mercy. Mercy, there is no mercy for them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord, the Lord has given me the nest of my enemy, and I destroyed them in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Everything that hates me, everyone that hates me, every demon, every the human agent, 
everyone that is after my promotion, after my awareness, every monitoring spirit, monitoring my family. This morning, the Lord has given me your neck, and I will not have pity in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou hast given me the nest of my enemy, that I might destroy them. I should to destroy them that hate me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Every one that is monitoring my progress for hate. Not because they love me and they are saying, wow, God bless this man. God bless this man. He's making progress. No. They are monitoring me for hate. Out of the hate of their heart, they are monitoring my progress and the progress of my family. And this time I'm making progress, they are not happy. They remain unhappy forever in the mighty name of Jesus. This one, the Bible says, God has given me their neck and that I might destroy them that hate me in the mighty name of Jesus. So it is in Jesus' mighty name. God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, this morning, everyone that hates me, they love death because I hate, I, I, I destroyed them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou hast given me the neck of my enemy that I might destroy them that hate me, that hate my children, that hate my finance, that hate my family, that hate my mental for making progress. In the mighty name of Jesus, every monitoring demon in human form, every monitoring agent, monitoring my progress. The Lord has given me their neck, and I should to pursue them and to break them asunder in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. 41, they cry, but there was not to save them. Even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. As long as they hate me, God will not answer them. In the mighty name of Jesus, unless they repent. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. As long as they hate me, you will not hear their prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, every of my haters, their prayer is abomination to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, their prayer is abominable to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, unless they repent, as long as they hate me, as long as they hate my children, as long as they hate my family, as long as, long as they hate me from being promoted, they hate my promotion. They hate me from carrying my babies. They hate me from living the life you are coming to live. In the mighty name of Jesus, as men that chose to hate me, in the mighty name of Jesus, when they pray, you will not hear them. Their prayer is abominable to death to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will cry in their own help too. They will not answer them. As long as they choose to hate me, the Lord will not answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. They cry. But there will be none to save them. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, even unto the Lord. But they will not answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. As they are giving their neck and I'm breaking them, I'm destroying them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will cry to you, they will not answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they refuse to show mercy, they will not have mercy upon them. Because they refuse to repent, you should not, you will not repent in their judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they are refused to show mercy. They will not receive mercy in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. To pray for that man and that woman. Fighting obvious battles. The matter of our children. She can see it. That I can't just help my girl. I can't help my boy. I know there's a battle. Even myself, I can't help myself. I know there's a battle. But Lord, how do I overcome this? I can't. I pray, pray. There's no answer. The deliverance this morning, ma. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The deliverance this morning, sir. Amen. Boy, girl, the deliverance this morning. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And together we are fighting the battle for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will pray everyone fighting such battles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every of their eta. Everyone monitoring the battle. And they seem stronger than them. In unity of faith this morning, we confront them in the name of the Lord. We confront them in the name of Jesus Christ. We confront them by the word of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We say as many as such, they are confronted, they are beaten down to the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall no longer have prosper in their evil. In Jesus' mighty name. When they cry to you, God, you will not answer them in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that hate this man, that hate this man, monitoring him or her for, for evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. They are beaten to the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. And they shall not prosper in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we are praying. Amen. Even that rejoice in your calamity. Calamity for them now in Jesus' mighty name. Even that rejoice in your, in, in your going down. Now they shall begin to go down in every aspect of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. And when they cry to God in their own in their own in their own way too, God will not answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. For the two then did I beat them small as the dog before the wind, and I cast them out as dead in the street. Remember some forty six years say, Let the Lord arise. And they that hate him, let them flee from before him. As smoke is disappearing before the wind, let them disappear before the Almighty. That same thing is happening here. He said, I will beat them as dirt before the wind, and they shall be scattered as dead in the street. In the mighty name of Jesus, every of my haters that hate me and they have determined their mind that I will not make for progress as long as they are alive like dust before the wind this morning let them be scattered in the mighty name of jesus every every of those covenant they are banking on every of those evil they are banking on every of those promises they are banking on be like dust before the wind let them be beat to the smooth to be, beat, be, be, be become small and be driven away in the mighty name of jesus let them be driven away in the mighty name of jesus let them be driven I win the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone another that determined their mind, they will not allow me to rest. Then said they will not have rest in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Pray for your neighbor. Everyone that did that, every, everyone that determined that they will not have rest. That you will see their own rest too in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not have rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that said that this is my sister, this is my brother praying with me. They will not have rest. Then said they will not have rest. Every covenant that they say they don't have rest, those covenants will lack rest this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic agent monitoring them for this reason, they shall not have rest henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying for the trade that has delivered me from the striving of the people and that has made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me from now this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm delivered for the striving of the people. I've not struggled with anyone again in the mighty name of Jesus. I have no reason, I have no business struggling with anyone. I am me, I am mine in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will not allow me to struggle with anyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I have been delivered from striving of the people in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord has made me the head of the head in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere I find myself, I am the head and not the tail, Jesus' mighty name. From now, I am the head of the hidden, the head in Jesus' mighty name. People I did not know will serve me in the mighty name of Jesus. In my office, people that I know will serve me, people that I did not know will serve me in the mighty name of Jesus. In my family, those that are refused to serve me before they will serve me now. Out of hatred, they will serve me now. It is, they did not serve me out of hatred before, but now they will work for my good in the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, people that I did not know, they shall serve me. I am favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I am who at home, I am favor. In the family, I am favor. In my workplace, I am favor. Wherever I find myself, I am favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Someone is there, you discover you are not always favor. People just hate you for no reason. Now you are favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for that person on the force. Pray that say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that man, that woman that hit that toe, I come with favor. This morning you are favor now in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere you go to now, in your office you are favor. In your business you are favor. In your marriage you are favor. In your work you are favor. Your spouse favor you. Everything you do will favor you. Every man, every woman, and you will favor you. Every of your sisters, your brother will favor you. Your family member will favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are favored right now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I should pray for yourself, pray for your neighbor. Your neighbor is favored in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As men that made themselves stranger to me, for now, henceforth, 
they shall submit to me in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as soon as they hear of me from now and forth, they shall obey me. And as many that made themselves stranger to me, they shall obey me. They shall favor me. They shall submit and say to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that in arrogance, in pride of mind, they have made themselves strangers to me in the mighty name of Jesus. From now they shall submit to me in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall submit to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And lastly, we end with this one. He said, The stranger shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. Everything that attached themselves to you, but not by God, they are strangers. Everyone that attached themselves to you, but not by God, they are changer. Every situation that attached itself to you, as a matter of fact, people are beginning to describe you with it, but they are not of God, they are strangers. And the Bible says, the stranger, they shall fade away. Before now, they are bold. Before now, they are visible. Before now, they can be seen. But the stranger, they shall fade away. And they shall be afraid out of their hidden places. You will see in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that can be caused strange in my life that god has not ordained that god has not put there that they are not in my life by reason of god putting them there therefore they are strangers and therefore they shall fade away in the mighty name of jesus and from their hooded places from their close places they shall come out right now out of fear in the mighty name of jesus because it's written the stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that that I believe that is everything that has changed in my life, every sickness that God has not put there, every disease that God has not put there, every pain that God has not put there, every amen that God has not put there, they came in by reason of sin. They came in by reason of uh, birth that he entered my brain. They came in by reason of marriage that he entered my marital place. They came in by reason of whatever reason. They, it doesn't matter the reason, the reason now. But as long as it's not the mind of God for me, they are changed in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, change shall fade away and they shall flee out out of fear from their hidden place in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every stranger in my life. I command everything that can be called strangers in my destiny, changes in my marriage, changes in my home, changes in my head. Changes in my finance, changes in my spiritual life, changes in, in every realm of my life, in my head, in my children's life, everything that I become that constructs changes in me because they are not put there by the Holy Ghost. Therefore, they are changes. The Bible says they shall fade away. I command fade now in Jesus' mighty name. I command fade now in the mighty name of Jesus and be afraid and get out of your hidden places, of your closed places. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The part B of that last prayer. The Bible says, one which is a thousand, and two such as ten thousand. If one fail, two could withstand it. A three cock, a three, a three four cord is not easily broken because two are better. That one, me and you, we are two now. Holy Ghost is now our third partner. A three cords, a three foot cord cannot easily be broken. If one is fading, three, I mean two, will be standing. He said, We are two or three are gathered. There I am in their way. Means on the basis, on the strength of these promises, that two are better than one. Me and you now, we are one. You and me now, we are better than one. And on the base of that, we are going to pray. Everything that constitutes strangers in the life of this, my brother, in the life of this, my sister, pray with me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says the stranger shall fade away. Begin to fade now. Begin to fade now. Begin to fade now. Violence, you are a stranger. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus, delay you are a stranger. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus, sickness, lack of strength, you are a stranger. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
that negative medical reports. You are a stranger. That is this. You are a stranger. Begin to fade now. HIV. You are a stranger. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever this is may be. Whatever pain it may be. Begin to fade now. Paralysis. You are a stranger. Stroke. You are a stranger. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus. High BP. You are a stranger. Begin to fade now. That man. That man is not born with that high BP. Begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything and everything that comes to change in this meeting right now. Begin to fade now. And begin to get out for your hidden places. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, let there be light. Lack of favor. Begin to fade now. I declare there be light. In those hidden places, in those dark places where you are heading. Let there be light now. The Bible said the light shall shine in darkness. And darkness couldn't comprehend it. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to fade now, every changer. Begin to fade now, every changer. Begin to fade now, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said the changer, they should hear the voice of the Son of God, and they shall begin to fade. Begin to fade now, in the mighty name of Jesus. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light of Jesus Christ shining to do dark places, to do close places, to do hidden places. And the mighty name of Jesus, let every changer in hell, every changer in this meeting right now, in any home, in any family, wherever they find, even changes in form of patterns, change patterns, demonic patterns, satanic patterns, that's not allowed for progress. You are that guest, old for marriage, but no matter is coming. Every pattern, whatever name it is called, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to fade now. Married for years, no children, begin to fade now. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that comes to true changes in every life, in every home this morning. Lack of proper prosperity, lack of progress in business, whatever thing it is that could change us in any life this morning, I command and I declare and I demand in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to fade now, begin to fade now, begin to fade now, because it's written, the changer shall fade away and they shall begin to get out from the hidden places in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be panic in those hidden places. There be panic in those hidden places. There be panic in those hidden places. There be earthquake in those hidden places. And every thing, every hidden thing, be made open right now in the mighty name of Jesus. All those hidden strangers, all those visible strangers, all those physical strangers, all those material strangers, all those demonic strangers, all those spiritual strangers, begin now, begin to fade away. Begin to fade away. I command in the mighty name of Jesus, fade out of your secret places. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Father, thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Just in one word, ask for God now. Every changes in my life, fade away now. Ask now, ask now. Just in one minute. In, just within a word. Every changes in my life. Everything that comes to changes in my life. Fade out, fade out, fade out. Fade out, fade out, fade out. Every changes in my life. Everything in my life, in my destiny, in my family, in my home, that causes to to strangers, fade out from your sacred places. But so they shall be afraid, and they will run out of their sacred places. I command, run out of your sacred, run out of your sacred places. Let run that now in Jesus' mighty name. Hear the Son of God, the Son of God, run that now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Ah, Father, thank you. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. As we are praying, joining my faith with yours and yours with mine. As we are declared, the Bible says, Moses, tell them, as I have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to them. As I have spoken in God's hearing this morning, so shall it be for you. Amen. Name of God the Father. Amen. Name of God the Son. Amen. Name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. As those strangers gone out, they will not return again. Amen. The Bible says when a strange spirit is cast into dry places, they will, and they have no rest, they want to come back and check if their house is still free. Your life is no longer free. Amen. For them to return in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. In those places where they have gone, Amen. I replace them with the spirit of Holy Spirit. Amen. With the spirit of God. Amen. With comfort, with rest. Amen. With mercy, with peace. Amen. With joy untold. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the spirit. Amen. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Sorry, taking your time. This is six minutes gone. Very sorry. 
I trust the Lord as our prayers, and it is done as was spoken, same time, same place, same scripture this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I sing in, in your, your presence, O oh God, O oh God. I sing in your presence, O oh God. Oh God, I sing in your presence. You are the one who make a new song. I will sing in your presence. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine his face upon you Amen. and be gracious towards you. Amen. May God lift up his countenance upon you Amen. and let the light of heaven shine on about you. Amen. And I declare upon you and all yours, let there be light. Amen. So much that the light be so mighty that every strength in you and in yours paid now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Our children, Amen. and God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we have. Bless you. Once again, sorry for taking your time. God bless you. In Jesus' name, in your presence, Jesus, God bless you. Oh God, I sing in your presence. Oh God, my God, I sing in your presence. You are the one who make a new song, new song. I sing in your presence. Oh God. Someone wants to go bless you. Someone may play there once again. Amen.